Welcome to this open course on the evolution of genomes. One striking thing about living beings is that most cellular and molecular networks are very well conserved from worms or flies, even from sponges sometimes, to humans. And these similarities, of course, are reflected in our genomes. Because genomes contain all the instructions to make an organism of a particular species. So looking at how genomes have changed throughout millions of years, we can learn a lot of things about the history of life on Earth. And this is precisely what we will be doing in this course. Starting from the genomes of the first organisms that lived on our planet, I will guide you through the genomic innovations that account for some of the major macroevolutionary transitions. There are five units. The genomes of early life forms is an introduction of, or an introduction to the origin of the first forms of cellular life on Earth. Then Unit 2, the arrival of complex genomes, explains what happened during the diversification of eukaryotes and the appearance of multicellularity. In Unit 3, we will look at the mechanisms that explain the evolution of genomes, a topic that will be further extended in Unit 4, in which we look at some recent findings in genome biology that shed new light on genome evolution. Finally, Unit 5 will cover some of the genomic innovations found in our genome in the human lineage. Each of the five units has some videos and you will also have the notes for each video available on the website. So I suggest that you start watching a video at the same time, read the notes for that video, then work on the recommended readings, internet links or supplementary materials indicated in the notes so that in the end you should be able to answer the questions that are proposed at the end of each unit. So welcome to the course. Now it's your turn to immerse yourself into the wonderful world of evolutionary genomics.